And now, it's time for Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hook up. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hook Up is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hook Up. And Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best. Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hook Up, Pete Gray and Rock Cod Rick Maxa. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Rock Cod Rick Maxa. We're in the Mighty 1090 studios with Captain John Conniff, fresh off the Islander, literally stepped off the boat this morning, and he's here to talk to you about fishing. So you stay tuned. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Father's Day edition, Let's Talk Hookup, Southern California sport fishing voice, Mighty 1090. No matter what the season, Rapala Lure should always be a part of your fishing arsenal. It's time to stock up on the trolling lure that's proven to catch more fish. X-Wrap Magnum by Rapala. Every X-Wrap mag runs perfect right out of the box. All have extreme action with a controlled, deep diving, aggressive swimming motion. The large diving lip partners with premium VMC hooks and an irresistible rattle. Here's some big news. X-Wrap mags now get up to 40 feet deep with the new X-Mag 40. Spool up with suffix line, which was designed. Designed and recommended for trolling x wrap mags. And you have a deadly combo. You should also check out Rapala Husky Magnum heavy-duty high-speed trolling lures built for battling large game fish. The Husky Mag lures, like all Rapala lures, are built tough and available at a great price. So bottom line, the x wrap Magnum or the Rapala Husky Magnum are the ultimate trolling lures for Southern California and Baja saltwater fishing. Available in a variety of colors and sizes. No matter what you choose, the fish can't resist Rapala. Ask your local tackle dealer which is the hottest color and size and start catching more fish see the entire lineup at rapala.com here's john ireland for rancho leonero the main emphasis on the ranch we're going to keep it old style we're not going to change anything we're just going to improve what we have the kitchen is brand new brand new kitchen this year with all new uh, kitchen equipment new stoves ovens we put a new freezer in we've put in uh, all brand new split air conditioners with thermostats to make sure Every room is cold. We've also worked on the boat fleet with a couple large lures, a 31 and a 34. We've got the uh, largest Super Ponga fleet on the East Cape, all with brand new Yamaha motors. Brand new beds. We've got all Serta beds, the best beds in Baja, I kid you not. We're working all the time at the ranch. We're not changing it, just making it a lot better. That's why we get the high trip advisor reviews. It's my responsibility. i got to take care of you. I'll personally guarantee your best fishing experience and vacation at Rancho Leonero. RanchoLeonero.com. Our new reservation phone number is 800-646-2252. 646-Baja. There's a lot of great tools out there to help you land the biggest catch. We've got state-of-the-art fish finders, the latest sonar technology, and a wide assortment of lures and jigs at our disposal. It's all tech to help you land the big one. Do you know who else loves the latest tech? Your San Diego County Ford dealers. Just look at F-150. It's loaded with tech. That's one of the many reasons F-150 is Motor Trend's 2018 Truck of the Year. Great payloads and towing capabilities make it the perfect piece of tackle. Available with an 8-inch touchscreen, fuel-saving EcoBoost engine, and all the latest safety and comfort features, F-150 is the truck that is smart enough for California. And right now, your San Diego County Ford dealers have great offers on F-150 XLT and STX. Right now is your best chance to get the best deal on the best truck. That's California smart. Learn more at buyfordnow.com or visit your San Diego County Ford dealer today. They'll be glad to hook you up. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. What cool timing to have John in here this morning. Yeah, indeed. Literally fresh <laughs> off a two-and-a-half-day trip on the Islander. Good morning, John Conniff. Good morning, John. Great to have you. Of course, we had a fantastic kayak trip on Tuesday, Wednesday, and back Thursday morning. Such a great trip because you leave Tuesday night, spend the entire day at San Clemente Island, and then back. Thursday morning and beautiful weather, great fishing, and just a really fun, exciting group. It was. It was. And the trip we just got back from was a two and a half, so we had two full days there. And it was reminding me why I like doing those trips so much. It's been, I don't know, 12 years now. I Has think it really? that we've been doing them. Yeah. And wow. Then it, 
Springtime comes around and we break out that rack and the skiff and the swim step and I roll my eyes a little and then I, I was reminded after these two trips why we enjoyed it so much. Both trips were awesome, killer weather, really, really good fishing. It was it was a good time. So I'm looking forward to the next one in a few days. Yeah, you have another one this week. Yeah, another two and a half. Yeah, great. So you actually spent two full days at San Clemente Island. Two full days. That's yeah, so cool. and how was the fishing? Uh, it was good. Really, really, really good bass fishing. Pretty much for uh, anybody that focused on that, Bo- both days, and your trip as well. That was yeah. off-the-hook bass fishing, good conditions on the front, uh, good yelltail fishing. You know, not big numbers, but we did get some quality fish. I think the biggest one was 30, I'd call it 33 pounds. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, a couple 20-pounders and some smaller ones, some halibut. Good rock fishing again on the front side. So it was it was steady action. The boat was empty all day. Everyone stayed in the water. Everybody sun stayed up to in the sundown. water. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, it's it's and you guys do such a great job. You you put a lot of work into the Islander this year, didn't you? Oh, we man. did. That boat looks so good. <laughs> Thank you. It's a uh, it's got such the unique spot at the landing that it's you know it's like broadside. So you know working in the tackle store, we get to see it every day. And like you guys were very busy, and the end result looks so nice. Thank you. Yeah, that was like a three month labor of love but it man it came out really really good I'm so what did you it. do uh we rebuilt the entire roof the roof on that boat was original issue 50 years old so we rebuilt the whole thing and, and made some additions up there cleaned up all the uh electronics and everything we painted the whole pretty much the entire boat put new windows in completely remodeled both the bathrooms so we have really uh, nicer bathrooms than bathrooms i have in my are house really nice yeah <laughs> big showers yeah, yeah. And very very clean and and a lot of other small things you know that just that ended up overall making for a nice presentation. Yeah. So we're we're pretty happy with how it came out. Yeah, as you should be, yeah. And you do basically now you finish off with this one kayak trip and then full on into fishing, right? Yeah, we do a family trip, myself and some uh, neighborhood families out to Catalina. We're going to spend a week out there. Oh, that's cool. Kind of recover from this maintenance before we jump into being out every night for the next four, five, six months, whatever it is. And uh, after that, yeah, we'll be fishing every day. Fantastic. And what kind of trips are you doing? Uh, uh, open party, charters? What are you doing on the Islander? A little bit of everything. We do have a lot of charters, but we've got uh, a couple handfuls of open party trips this year, day and a half trips, two and a half, three and a half. I think those are, are full already. But we have a lot of two, two and a half, day and a half trips. We'll be doing those, fishing offshore mainly. That's nice. Yeah. 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 And if you go to islander-charters.com, you can see the schedule and uh, – and and check out what trips are available for you to go on. You can, I think, in two days. In two days. <laughs> you go to our website right now, it redirects you to the Fisherman's Landing schedule. But okay. we we rebuilt a couple of websites. One for shark diving and the fisherman's or the fishing website is, I think, by Tuesday it's going to be online. Be Brand new little... website with nice. the schedule. Yeah. All right, great. You do a lot of different things on the Islander. Of course, kayak, mothership trips. Uh, fishing, of course, Great and then fishing. shark diving in the fall, right? Yeah. No, we've got a big season. I think we have 80 days at, at Guadalupe Island this oh, year. Wow. 80 there last year. So, yeah, we're looking forward to that. Yeah. Big show coming out on Shark Week this year, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. Which yeah, is yeah. coming up, I think, right? Yeah, honestly, I don't even – I think it's the third. It, it's in July, I think, okay. end of July, yeah. And that's going to feature the Islander. Yeah, I mean, the whole thing was filmed on the Islander. Yeah, it's, that's our third year. I think we're even going to do another one this year. But That's so cool. Yeah, it's been kind of fun. That's got to be a really, just what a unique thing. And, I mean, that's just the all-time place in the world to get to see those things. I mean, perfect condition almost every day. And you spend so much time down there seeing those big things. has got to be pretty spectacular. Yeah, it is. I mean, I spent years, obviously, fishing there. And we took the Islander fishing there forever and ever. But things changed with that a little bit. So we diversified. And, and honestly, I mean, fishing is uh my true passion that's our bread and butter but this uh this run we got, we're going on i think 12 or 13 years of doing that and it's just grown and grown and we're very very happy to have it cool, it's man. a nice transition it's a lot of fun and, and this is going to be a busy year down there people all over the world come to ju- go get on the Ang- Ang- islander for yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Many, many different countries every year. Yeah. How many days, like, how do the, I mean, I know that this, you know, we, we talk about fishing, and, you know, Islander is, like, one of my most favorite fishing boats, but just on that, how how long are those trips? Like, what do they, what do they? What it's do they a five-day trip. Is it? Okay. Yeah, a day to get there, a day to get back, and three, two and a half days of diving. It's cool. And it's cool, man. This last year, we saw 
you know, I'd put them right around 200 pounds, these little packs of 180 to 200 pound yellowfin tuna swimming around the cages and no 30 to 50 pound yellowtail swimming in between the bars. So <laughs> oh my gosh. It's cool, man. That's rad. Really cool. That's really, actually swim inside the cages. Yeah, the yellowtail, yeah. yeah. If, if little bits of chum or bait, they'll, they get so conditioned, you know, there hasn't been any fishing in that North Bay for years. It's a, it's a whole different deal up there now. It's like Jurassic Park. Just hang out. Oh, yeah. that's, that's so really rad. Cool. So tell us about the Islander and and, and, and the boat and, and what you do on the boat. Uh, it's a 90-footer, basically, 88-footer, and uh, pretty much specialized in day and a half to these days three-and-a-half-day fishing trips. And it's a full-service deal. We kind of model ourselves after the long-range model, which is where I came from. Prior to the boat, we've had it for about 15 years now, but we've tried to to go that route, you know, good as services you can get, I think. Uh, really, really good food, sit-down meals, stateroom accommodations. Great chef. Yeah. yeah. No, Jake's doing a Jake fantastic, a fantastic job. Chef. He's doing a really, really good job. I, we just try to put a lot of effort into to watching the details, and obviously, in addition to that, providing the you know, a great fishing experience as well. But the boat is amazingly comfortable. I mean, that's the thing that, you know, for those that haven't had a chance to ride with you, I mean, from the state rooms to the, you know, lounging in the galley and you, know, you don't often find that level of comfort on trips, you know, as short as day and a half to three day trips. You know, it's very, very comfortable boat to ride on. Yeah, I think that's critical. You know, on those those Ditmars, those such a killer boat, you know. Amazing. I mean, they made yeah. those things so well. They're comfortable comfortable riding boats and and the amenities and just the way they were built got 50 years ago now isn't that They're amazing pretty incredible but you yeah. have all the modern machinery all the modern electronics yeah yeah no I, every year we kind of chip off a new project just to to uh kind of keep it in its original condition we just hauled out this year and it's the best haul out we've ever had the boat is in really really good shape tight wood looks like it was built yesterday so That's so rad pretty amazing. happy with it yeah yeah and so nice, two and three person staterooms with sinks and you know super comfortable uh, bunks and yeah. everything about it. It's a long range. It is a long range boat. boat. Yeah, long range yeah. boat. It's, it was originally yeah. the the Red Rooster two, right? Yeah, yeah. It's got some history. Yeah. Way back. When. It was built to do those trips and trying to keep it that way. <laughs> That's yeah, cool. yeah. It, 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 it's it's really a a nice platform and just a, a fun experience so as a lot you can of hear, bait a lot of oh the bait yeah you haul a lot of bait right yeah we've got a slammer and deck tanks and all that so yeah yeah we carry our quite full a bit. rsw yeah the fish i brought home from the uh, kayak trip was in perfect condition nice yeah it's cool. good to hear did a great job you were talking about the kayak thing like i, I wish that there was a way you know you, you you can't do justice how good you guys are at at you know I don't want to say dealing with because that makes it sound like it's a it's a pain in the butt, but like just how good you are at getting the kayaks on and off and loaded and like the service that goes along with it. Because there's a, you know, there's a unique thing, you know, you know, launching and landing boats and getting people on and off of them and and how it's all done. Like it's one of those things that you just you have to see it to believe how smooth it goes getting people on and off their boats and how easy it is to you know to get back onto the big boat and. I mean, clearly, you know, 12 years worth of doing it, you get you get it all figured out. But it's just, I wish there was a way to show somebody how smooth those trips go. Well, we're going to have a video. Oh, cool. Yeah, all right. Well, there our, you go. Then. On our YouTube channel. I'm uh, working on that now. So we'll have it up in the near future, um, a, a video of the kayak trip and how it all works and how they get the boats in and out of the water. And, That's cool. We, I need that. <laughs> yeah. And, it's, it, and, and they make it so easy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah oh, God, man. 12 years ago when we... We pretty much made this run up. As far as I know, there's not a boat, another boat in the world, I don't think, that does that kind of mothership trip. I yeah. could be wrong, but we made, kind of made everything up and developed it. And in the beginning, it was, I mean, literally putting that first kayak in the water, we were all looking at each other like, how do we get this in and out? Yeah. But yeah. now, it, man, it's like a half an hour, and we've got 20 of those things in the water. It's pretty streamlined. Yeah. And with the skiff and everything, it's, it's, uh, it's a trip to be on the upper deck and then glass up and down the island and see four miles of kayaks yeah. spread out doing That's their crazy. thing and everyone on a VHF and the skiff driving beer and bait to everybody. It's yeah. 
I know some of those L.A. boats, when they roll out there, are scratching their eyes like, what is this? What is going on there? <laughs> Where did these guys come from? Five kayakers spread up and down the <laughs> island. Yeah, I know Rick Dozberg on the Fury out of Dana Wharf Sport Fishing. We were, he, had, he was surrounded by kayaks. The other right. day. He was probably just scratching his head going, what the heck is going on? Yeah, hopefully that went okay. I do <laughs> yeah. warn them all before they get in the water, yeah. like, back off. Yeah, be nice. <laughs> don't, don't be one of those guys. Yeah, for sure. That's funny. Well, as you can hear, we have a great show lined up for you today. On from kayaks, on to fishing offshore, and great bluefin tuna, yellowtail, and more. Yeah. Coming up on the Islander here. Well, you're not kidding. What a good time to have Captain John Conniff in here with this bluefin season coming and all the great stuff going on this morning. And if you want to be a part of Let's Talk Cookup, we want to hear from you. There's two ways that you can reach us this morning. First is with our local line. That's 858 area code 457-1090. Again, 858 858- Four five seven ten ninety. That's a local number. Or you can reach us toll free. That toll free line is eight seven 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 nine two ten ninety. One more time, eight seven 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 nine two ten ninety. Not only your chance to talk to John, talk about the Islander, talk about some great fishing. We're also giving away a really great prize today. That is a Father's Day special. And so to celebrate Father's Day, we're giving away a pair of Olakai sandals. It's the Makai Lace, a great shoe for the boat. They're really comfortable high-end pair of olakai's and a really cool opportunity and we sure uh thank uh our good friends of uh olakai premium footwear for allowing us to get to give away such a great pair in honor of father's day yeah yeah happy father's day to all the fathers so they're going to reward you with that great pair oh, i love those things i wear them on the boat all the time they have like a leather lower so and then a, a mesh upper so they stay cool but they're pretty much waterproof Really, really a nice Yeah, I mean, it's a very high-end deal, and it's a very cool opportunity you get to do and celebrate a fun day. So if you're the winner, we'll get your size, and Olakai will ship them right out. That is awesome. Well, again, if you want to get your shot at those great pair of shoes, or better yet, your chance to talk to John from the Islander, 858-457-1090 or 877-792-1090. And when we come back, we're going to be taking your phone calls. Lots of great info coming your way. You stay tuned. You're listening to Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mighty 1090. This is Greg Stotesbury from AFCO. For more than 58 years, the American Fishing Tackle Company has been recognized as the premier manufacturer of precision-built offshore fishing tackle. AFCO continues this tradition today with an innovative technical fishing clothing line designed and built by fishermen for fishermen. From our next-generation waterproof shorts like Tactical or Stealth to our new anhydrous waterproof jacket and bibs, the entire AFCO clothing line is purpose-built with the latest AFTEC fabrics and features designed to deliver for the demanding angler. To find AFCO products, go to AFCO.com and find a dealer near you. Fishing is a lifestyle for many of us, and what you wear on your feet is a big part of that. So I like to live aloha and wear Olakai premium footwear. Every pair is created with the Hawaiian culture and heritage in mind, plus unique details and features. Olakai sandals are the best I've ever worn because they're based on the feeling of your bare foot in wet sand for natural heel cup and arch support. Nothing could be more comfortable and good for your feet. Olakai makes footwear for any time of day or night. My favorite Olakai sandals are the Ohana. Water resistant and great for the beach or the boat. Olakai is always coming out with great new styles too, like the Nohea Moku that features a no-tie bungee lace with patented drop-in heel that lets you slide right in. And the razor sip bottom delivers plenty of traction on the boat deck. Share your aloha with the Olakai crew by following them on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Olakai and tagging your photos with hashtag Anywhere Aloha. Olakai Footwear is now available at Fisherman's Landing Tackle, Dana Landing, and other fine tackle stores or Olakai.com. Hey, this is Rosie with Cedros Sport Fishing. Cedros Island is considered the yellowtail and calico bass fishing capital in the world, and nobody does it better than Cedros Sport Fishing. We are committed to providing first-class service to our guests, as well as an unforgettable fishing experience. We have made a good thing even better. We now have a direct flight departing through the CBX in San Diego. Leave home in the morning and fish in the afternoon. We have a beautiful waterfront lodge with first-class accommodations and meals. What are you waiting for? Call me at 619-772-7570 or check out sadosportfishing.com. Book soon. Trips are going fast. Hey, it's time for the 30-second Power Pro Seminar. Here's the hot tip for those of us that like to fish with small reels for big fish. 
Fill your spools with Power Pro Max Quattro. It's 25% thinner than standard Power Pro. That means you're going to get more line on that small reel. Plus, you can fly line your bait more effectively. Here's another tip about Power Pro Max Quattro. Your casting distance will increase in addition to increasing your spool capacity. So downsize your tackle and use Power Pro Max Quattro. Check PowerPro.com for more information. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. Phones are already packing up. If you want to get through, the only line still open, 877-792-1090. All right. Hey, we mentioned it yesterday. There's still a couple spots left on the American Angler leaving uh, this Tuesday evening and uh, fishing Wednesday and uh, back Thursday on a day and a rare, rare day and a half yeah. on the American Angler. Really fantastic. Some spots left on that. 500 bucks. With a load of, of of 28 on that trip, Sweet. really a good deal. No doubt. And, uh, you know, all your food and, and everything. And, of course, American Angler, top-notch boats. It's a rare opportunity. Weather looks fantastic. Fish are biting. So you should go check AmericanAnglerSportFishing.com. Again, leaves Tuesday night, fish Wednesday, back Thursday morning. Uh, a few spots left. You can book right online there at American Angler Sport Fishing. Dot com. So let's go ahead and jump into the phones. Packing up here. One line open if you want to get through 877-792-1090. All right. Let's talk to Brian. He's calling us from Mission Bay this morning. Brian, good morning. Thanks for joining us here on Let's Talk Hookup. Seven, nine. Morning, guys. What's hey. up, Brian? Hey, hey uh, I just wanted to ask John if what are his thoughts, and I know you all have asked the question on the Albacore showing up. <laughs> yeah, the big uh, A we word. Were, we were just talking about that over the break. We, I told these guys I was looking at some of my logs from 2004 the other day, where it was day after day of albacore fishing, and missing that. You know, honestly, I, your guess is as good as mine. I, I think maybe if I was 2,000 years old, maybe I'd know <laughs> enough about the cycles and the history to answer that. But I'll just take a stab at it and say this year. Okay, <laughs> I'm with you on that. I think everybody's so over predicting them that it's going to happen one year, and we're all just going to high five, you know. And it's yeah. just one of those things. Yeah. There's been enough years as of late, and everybody says the same thing. You know, it's you know it seems like about every ten years or so that ten years has been here for a little while now, and the conditions have been there've been plenty of times where the conditions were very ideal for it, and and it's not like that. You know, it's not like those fish aren't a healthy population. I mean, they kick the crud out of them up above us a ways. It's just one of these years that cycle's going to be right, and they're just going to roll right back through. And we're right gonna, through. We're all going to be stoked when it does. I can't wait. Yeah, no doubt about it. Hey, thanks a lot for the call this morning. Now, speaking of albacore, you want a dose of albacore? It's always. Throwback Thursday, this Thursday on the Let's Talk Hookup app. If you haven't downloaded the Let's Talk yeah. Hookup app, it's such an awesome app. They did such a fantastic job, the guys. And Adam... Our main man here does such a great job of keeping things up. We can listen live. Uh, you can listen to archives. You can li- check our Facebook, Instagram, everything on the app. It's so easy to download on your Android or your I- iPhone device, your iPhone, your iPad, everything there. So Throwback Thursday this Thursday. We have the one up there with Marty Milner right now. And the next one coming up is going to be from June of 05 to That's June cool. of 2005. You're speaking of Albacore, Art Taylor, and Captain Dick Uranga, Captain Potato Head, who's uh, passed away a few years ago, but leaves us some great memories. That was the featured show, Rock Hot Rick at a youthful age there yeah. uh, in 05. And, uh, and uh, myself and, and Art Taylor, Dick Uranga, talking about catching Albacore. That's right. So if you want a dose of Albacore, you make sure you download our app on the App Store, uh, or the Google Play Store, and then listen to Throwback Thursday this Thursday coming up, that new episode. That's awesome. All right, well, let's jump back into the phones. We're going to talk to Chris, Connor from San Pedro this morning. What's up, Chris? Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, I just got off the Islander with uh, John and the crew, and I just had to call in and say what an amazing trip that was, and uh, the crew was phenomenal. Thanks, Chris. Nice. Indeed. Uh, just yeah, man. They ago. just uh they really cater to the kayakers, man. The food was great. I had a teriyaki chicken bowl that was better than anything I get at home. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. rad. Yeah, no, he, uh, Jake is an amazing chef too and the crew works so hard too. They do a really great job. 
Yeah. No, they're in. Yeah. The, that's like, important. Like uh, John was saying, man, they, they got 22 guys in the water within a half an hour. You know, it's just, uh, just like natural. Yeah, easy day, game. Are you uh, going again? Uh, yeah, I'll be next year. You yeah, know, for sure. So what was your but, uh, what was your highlight fish, Chris? Uh, just uh, I got a rock fish that was pretty big and a bunch of bass. That's right. Uh, no yellowtail this year, but uh, still fun fishing. You know. Yeah, for awesome. sure. Awesome. You know, the cool thing about that rockfish fishing is you do the calico thing inside. You do the yellowtail thing inside, and then you just basically paddle maybe quarter mile just outside where the boat is anchored it, at the drop off there, and just drop your line and catch reds and boccaccio and and all kinds of stuff, right? Yeah, that's pretty cool on the front side. It's like pretty that. cool. The topography, man, you don't have to go very far, and you're in forty fathoms right away. That rock fishing, it's fun there. It's, it's a real lot of fun. fun. Yeah, easy game, and then you paddle right back in to catch more calicos. And, <laughs> yeah. You got me fired up, man. That sounds cool. Yeah, it's really a fun trip. Well, glad you had such a great time, Chris, and appreciate you giving us this report. Frank, thanks a lot for the call this morning. Thanks, Chris. All right, let's jump right back into them. This time we're going to talk to Jeff. He's calling us from Costa Mesa this morning. Hi, Jeff. Welcome to Let's Talk Hook Up. Hey, good morning, boys. Good morning, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. And, uh, hey, hey, John. Uh, I met you at the uh, uh, Point Loma. We had fish and chips one night a few years back, and uh Want to get out, get out on your boat, and uh, I was just wondering, uh, when you guys are fishing the yummy fire, or you're fishing the big tuna. You have a, a a boat rod for that. I don't need to worry about bringing one. No, you don't. We've got uh, we've got a couple all set up. It's actually probably the easiest way to go. You know, these guys have them all rigged up, and when it's time to deploy that thing, it's just boom, it's out there. That's cool. So yeah, no, we've got one for you. Come on out. Okay. Cool, cool. And you have a uh, two passenger or uh, uh, two person staterooms. I heard Pete saying, and uh, when your schedule comes out, so you just can you uh, try to uh, book one of those uh, if I want to go with just two people. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if okay. you're looking at a fishing trip and you can you can call Fisherman's Landing or go to their website right now. That that's where our schedule is until our our site's up in a couple of days. But but yeah, when you sign up, just let them know that you'd like one of the two-person staterooms, and it's no problem. They'll put you in one. As long, it's like first come, first serve. Yeah, as long as it's available. Yeah. Yeah, very good. But with that said, too, for people that aren't uh, familiar, all of the sleeping accommodations on the boat are staterooms, just a varying, varying number of people per cabin kind of thing. Yeah, and if you're coming out, you know, typically on most of our trips, that we don't we don't fill every yeah. bunk. You know, we we run a little bit lighter load. So if there's a three room, three person room, and it's you and a your wife or something like that or your kid you can if it's uh, available you can get a three-person room just for the two of you that's cool so i'm just going to fisherman's landing.com right now and i uh, go to the uh, fall full schedule and i click on the boat search by boat islander and then i see that there's a schedule up there and you can actually purchase tickets right on there sure yeah absolutely yeah, right on the, uh, so there's a space available on a Limited load, day and a half trip coming up on uh, on uh, July the 6th. Right. And uh, you've got a two and a half day limited load coming up. Uh, really reasonably priced, too. Yeah, you know. I mean, for, for an all-inclusive so. trip. Yeah. Yeah, on a long-range boat. Absolutely. Very yeah. well done. Very well done. Hey, very good, uh, Jeff. Uh, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. That does free up. 858-457-1090. Open right now. If you want to get through, <clears throat> win a pair of Olakai shoes and uh, talk to John about the Islander, talk about tuna and yellowtail and albacore and all that stuff, there's your shot. Let's head south right now down to the East Cape, talk to our buddy John Ireland, calling us live from Rancho Leonero. When to see us, John. Hi, John. Hey, Pete. Hi, Rick. Hello, John. Good morning. Well, we, uh, we Bud was a dud. Bud was a dud. <laughs> That's a good it was thing. Bud Light, right? <laughs> it was a Bud very light, yeah. You know, it was funny because it, uh, that storm bumped up to a Cat 4 coming in and got everybody's attention, and it was on all NBC, ABC, all the networks had it. And, and uh, so we had lots of cancellations, and everybody, a lot of the guests got nervous and went home early. And, and uh, when she finally rolled over, and she went, she went right over the top of us, she was a, a tropical storm. Uh, wind was probably blowing about 20 miles an hour, and we probably got an inch of rain out of the whole deal. So it was pretty That's much it. it. 
That was it. Yeah. Wow. It sure it sure turned over the water. I got to say that though. It, it, the water temperature dropped. Uh, now we're metering seventy five to seventy eight degrees. So it dropped the water temperature seven seven to eight degrees, and and mu- kind of muddied it up inside. Um, the boats the boats uh, we actually only lost one day of fishing. Believe it or not, we had boats going out on uh, on Friday and or actually Saturday morning we had boats going out the only day we lost was friday we had boats out on thursday as well and i was concerned you know that it was going to really ruin the fishing and uh, and it's been yellowfin yellowfin tuna city it really has yesterday i gotta tell you they were right off the lighthouse trolling live bait for uh, rooster fish they picked up limits of uh, yellowfin right off the beach biggest one was 65 pounds 30 to 65 pounds couple of the boats did that, just really smashed them. And, and there's also yellowfin about 20 miles off of Pomo, off the park, uh, under porpoise. They're football size, and, <clears throat> and they're everybody limited on them. And that's been pretty much the story since the storm. It's been all yellowfin, a lot, a lot of yellowfin. But everybody's limiting, so that's making it work for us. Prior to that, you know, it was uh, we were finally getting some nice Dorado, some big bulls were coming in, and, and uh, marlin bite was very very good as well and and we were catching yellowfin every or yellow yeah yellowfin every day so um like you said we got we really got lucky on on this one and uh and hopefully there's no more this year that'll be the last of it and we can get yeah <laughs> you hope so anyway it's uh it's awful early for a, a hurricane to come around but you never know yeah. right yeah. Yeah, not my favorite time of year. <laughs> and we just added another month and a half on it too. Yeah, normally it's you know they we start they start popping up in July and then in August is when we start really keeping our eye on them. And uh, so we're we're going to be on alert from for the rest of the season. Now. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, in the meantime, uh, great time to go down there because the water warms up, the fish get active, and it's such a beautiful location, so easy to access in and out. At Rancho Leonero. How do we get a hold of if we want to come fishing? Right. Thanks, Pete. And it is good. And, and by the way, I, I've never heard of yellowfin that close to the beach ever. I, I, I told you earlier about the guy with the, you know, with throwing the iron, throwing the crocodile earlier in the season and off the beach and yeah. picked up a nice 35-pounder. So, so they're in real close off of that lighthouse. That's, That's pretty really cool. cool. Fun, fun stuff. Uh, 800-646-2252 or RanchoLeonero.com. And, We've got photos of those fish that will be going up today, so it's a nice tuna. So All right. Fantastic, John. Good job. Uh, great that you dodged the, the, the bud bullet there. And, uh, yeah, we'll, bud the dud. Bud, bud the, the dud. dud. All right, and we'll talk to you next Sunday. Thanks a lot for yeah, the call. You got it. Way. Okay, guys. All right, appreciate that. All right, one line open. You want to get through? Busy morning already. Happy Father's Day to everybody, 858 457 1090. All right. Hey, let's talk to Charlie. He's calling us from LAX this morning. Charlie, you must be going fishing. Hey, good morning. I was wondering what time you guys are boarding your flight today and what time will you be in Sitka. We get there at 1. Nice. Very good. So you're headed for, King, you're headed for Kingfisher Charters today. Yeah, we, Ricky and I leave at uh, 120 out of San Diego, and I think we get to Sitka last flight in, I think, 8 o'clock. Yeah. Something like that. So yeah, we uh, we got to do the show, otherwise we'd be on the yeah, plane. We'd be on the plane there. with you. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So great, great show. We'll talk to you soon. All right, okay, Charlie. Charlie, we'll see you in Alaska for sure. Have a great time, indeed. One line open eight seven 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 nine two ten ninety. Let's jump back in the phones. Sounds good to me. How about this time we talk to Al? Calling us from Valencia this morning. What's up, Al? Welcome to Let's morning. Talk Hookup. Morning, guys. Hey, John. It's Al Myers. Hey, Al. How you doing? Good. You took a seven-year-old kid 12 years ago and taught him how to fish. Well, that seven-year-old kid is now 21, and he's now a captain. Wow. I got to thank you. Cool. I got to thank you. Ah, it's my pleasure. Thank you for bringing him out. I, yeah, I've kind of watched him. I've been watching him, and that, that's awesome. We watched you, you, we watched you, and you, and you taught him, and it's the joy of life. Oh, but, that's and, rad. That's really and cool to hear. Your whole operation has just been first class for the last twelve years. It's just incredible operation. Thanks, I man. Thank you got to come again. out again. It's been a couple of years. It's uh, it's been a couple of years. Uh, I've been coaching college baseball, but having a great time. I miss you guys, nice. and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. Hello, Rick. <laughs> Good to hear from you, buddy. Time to go hey, fishing. Buddy. All right, 
Thanks, Al. Appreciate the call this morning. All right. Hey, we're going to jump back into them. This time we're going to talk to Gary. He's calling from Palm Desert this morning. What's up, Gary? Welcome to the show. Good morning, Gary. Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, happy Father's Day to everybody out there. Yeah, good call, Gary. Hey, I've, I've got um, I've got two questions, um, and it was actually a follow-up from uh, yesterday, Rick. You had a caller uh, call in with regards to uh, flatfall fishing, and uh, you also mentioned uh, a sinker rig, and you really didn't uh, – talk too much that kind of stimulated a little bit of thought because i've really never fished on a sinker rig so my first two questions actually the first one when you uh tie a let's say a 200 or a 250 size flat fall to say a 80 pound fluorocarbon or 100 pound what is the connection that you should use i'm assuming maybe a crimp loop-to-loop crimp or something and could you kind of touch bases with me on the sinker rig, How what size sinker, how far up, and where I should be uh, hooking the uh, uh, bait for the sinker rig? Some great questions. John, what do, you, uh, what do you like when it comes to sinker rig, starting fishing, all the uh, ins and outs of it? That's, that is a really, really effective way to yeah. fish. I know some guys, the guys got some bites on them yesterday. Uh, you know, I typically put the sinker, like, you know, if you've got your – you know, your hook clipped off to your reel, I usually put the sinker right up by the tip of the rod, so whatever that is, you know, anywhere from six to seven feet, something like that. And we tie it off with a rubber band, you know, is the way we do it. And so it's, Torpedo uh, style. Thing yeah, sinker, torpedo yeah. sinker. And I, and nothing you know, special, right? I mean, you're nah. just like looping the rubber band through the sinker and then looping the rubber That's band it. around yeah. the line. Yeah, we do Super like, easy. A, like a 10 ounce, you know, depending on conditions. And that way when the sinker comes up, if you need to, you can just take your dikes out and clip it right off. Mm-hmm. You know, it doesn't get in the way. And it it does a good job of getting the bait down and presenting it well. I mean, you, it's it's amazing how many bites you get doing that while you're letting it out. You're basically just kind of fly lining a sinker with a with a nose hooked sardine going behind. You definitely want to hook it through the nose. And uh, you just you you know drop it down and just kind of hope. Do you let the thing down five or ten feet and hold it there? I mean, is, is there a technique to fishing it? Yeah, or? yeah, definitely. I mean, you let it out. You, you just kind of imagine. You know, a fly line bait, and you kind of let it out at that speed. You don't want it to just free fall like sure. you're going to go down and catch a, a rock cob. But you just let it out, you know, and watch the spool and just kind of imagine that you're fly line in a bait and let it go out at that speed. And with that bluefin fishing, you can let that thing go out and get deep. You know, we use that rig a lot, especially when we're shutting down in the dark. You know, and you have fish down there at 40 fathoms sometimes or 240 feet. And, yeah, I mean, that's where you see the fish on the meter typically, or a lot of times that's where you're going to get a bite. So you definitely, Very effective. Yeah, that's why you're using the sinkers to get it down there. So, you know, obviously want to pay attention and not go down to the last two wraps on your spool. But it's, it, the whole idea is to get it down in the water column a bit. One thing that's always tripped me out about getting bites on the sinker rig is, you know, when you're when you're fly lining a bait off the corner, if it blows up and I mean, your spool is, you know, running 100 miles an hour, a lot of times, I mean, not every time, sometimes it's the same way there, but a lot of times a bite on a sinker rig feels like you're getting a bite from a from a rockfish, you know, like it, it, uh, it it's can, it can often be not nearly as explosive and line peeling off the rail. Huh? Just, dum, 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 yeah. like, oh, I think I got one. And, it's like when you let the flat fall out, it's kind of yeah. the same deal. You get a weird head shake, and then what is that? And then yeah, oh, this, there it goes. It this can't be anything. And line. next thing you know, you're turning into a 200 pounder. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've had days where a couple guys get bit, and before you know it, the entire boat is fishing a sinker rig, and it's 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 working. You know, it's cool. Someone's getting bites. Works out. Hey, thanks a lot for the call this morning. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way. More your phone calls, more great information. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. This is Rick Jensen with Sport Fishing Financial. I think most of you get that I'm a fisherman and work with the fishing community, but to understand exactly what Sport Fishing Financial does, ask yourself these four questions. First, do you really know how much money you'll need in order to retire comfortably? Next, do you know how much you'll have to save on a regular basis to reach that number? Do you have a process that includes a proven investment strategy and confidence that the money you save will grow? Last, do you have a plan for how to turn your savings into retirement income? If you don't have good answers to these questions, you're not alone, but you should, and I can make sure you do. In addition, if you own a business and currently provide or are planning on providing a retirement savings plan for yourself or your employees, we should really talk. We offer an outstanding variety of creative solutions that are sure to meet your needs. Some of our listeners may feel overwhelmed. Others may believe they are already doing the best they can. In either case, I bet Rick can help. Set a time to meet with him and start planning for your personal or business investment success. 
Find Rick on the web at sportfishingfinancial.com or give him a call at 949-481-1807. Hey, you know when the fish are biting, whether the fish are full speed or whether you need to scratch, you come home from a trip, bag's a little light, just go to Point Loma Seafood. It's always biting there, buddy. Freshest thing in town right there, I'm telling you what. Last night we had fresh king fresh king salmon. Now, we're flying all the way to Alaska to get fresh king salmon. In your backyard. You can get it right here down the street at Point Loma Seafoods. And everything else they have in there is just it's the unheard best, of. Yeah. It's absolutely crazy. You know, being in the tackle store down there, we eat Point Loma Seafood, you know, at least one or two times a week. And the fresh case, the fresh case blew me away when I was in there last week. We were picking up lunch and just... The variety of stuff they have from all the killer local fish, local yellowtail and tuna and halibut, and they had killer sea bass, but then they had the most killer piece of swordfish. It was caught with that deep set buoy gear, really grouper good. from Mexico. It's just, it's amazing. Like, they have such a killer fresh case option at Point Loma Sea. And you have to go every day, because every day it changes, because it's fresh. And, you know, a lot of people just go there for lunch or dinner, but I'll tell you what, while you're there for lunch or dinner, grab a fresh piece out of the case. Point Loma Seafoods right next to the San Diego Landings in Point Loma. Have you been looking for a live bait hook that keeps live bait alive? Look no further than Japan's leading fish hook, Gamakatsu. It's the little things that make the difference, and Gamakatsu hooks drive the point home. With an absolute perfect bend and ideal barbs, your bait swims harder and longer. And when you get bit, Gamakatsu hooks bite back with a vengeance. All hooks are not the same. Go with Gamakatsu for infinite success. Gamakatsu, simply the best. Check Gamakatsu. He's not just my fishing buddy. After 30 years, he's a brother, and I'd sure hate to lose him. His bass boat's got nothing to do with it. So I make sure both of us wear a life jacket. Save the ones you love, even if they don't own a fancy boat. A message from California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways. Cast Tours is a family-owned and operated travel company that specializes in taking you to great fishing destinations. They take pride in providing the best and most affordable vacation packages available. For over 20 years, Cast Tours has been creating unique sport fishing and vacation trips. Whether it's a fishing trip, a family vacation, or an adventure, they will provide you the service and value you deserve. Call Cast Tours at 800-593-6510 or check casttours.com. San Diego's sports leader. The home of ESPN Radio. The mighty 1090. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mighty 1090. All right, let's find out what's biting. You got it, man. It's time for the catch port, which today is sponsored by Gamakatsu Hooks, Japan's leading fish hook that sets the standard for quality and innovation, strength, and durability. The local tuna and yellowtail fishing is happening, and you should make the Gamakatsu Nautilus Hook your go-to hook. It has the strength and durability as well as the right design to make it easy to hook your bait and put your fish on the deck. Get Gamakatsu Nautilus Hooks at your favorite tackle store. Indeed, and I'll tell you what, we're missing our uh, Dana Wharf Sport Fishing Report. Uh, hopefully those guys are going to call in real quick. So we're going to start it off with Jeff from Cedros Sport Fishing with the Cedros Island Report. Good morning, Jeff. What's up, Jeff? Good morning, gentlemen. How are you today? Great. great. How's the fishing at Cedros? Uh, you, you know, it's, it's it's over the top right now. Uh, we had a trip that uh, is coming back today, and uh, all week they had great fishing. Uh, there were some white sea bass caught, uh, blue and white yo-yo. Nice. Uh, yellowtail on mackerel and, and surface iron. Uh, halibut were getting caught as well. I mean, it's just it's happening down there. And I understand calico fishing is off the charts. It is. Yeah, you can you can spend a day and wear out your shoulder if you want to. Yeah, that's so cool. As well as your thumb. I saw a exactly. uh, a photo a photo that uh, that Cedro Sport Fishing had posted of uh you know guys I'm not sure where it was on the island but you know there's always concern about kelp and hot water and it was just a picture of two of the skiffs fishing calico bass and just what looked to be some some very very thick kelp forest. Yeah, I hear that the, the kelp is coming back in certain parts of the island, which is it's great news, as you know, Rick and, and Pete. You guys have been down there a lot, um, and and we uh, we hope that that continues and it gives some good cover and those bass even get bigger. That's awesome. Right. Well, if somebody wants to come down to Cedros Sport Fishing, certainly the best operation on Cedros. Fly right out of the Tijuana Airport uh, on the Cross Border Express Bridge and right into Cedros. Right there, the only operation that does that. Are there any spots available this year, Jeff? Yeah, we do actually have a few spots left open. Uh, there's a four-day in the end of October, 
and I believe there's a, a handful of spots still in the middle of October, and then we've got a trip at the uh, middle of November. We extended our season a little bit this year due to the great fishing last year, and uh, if you want to take a look at the schedule, I'll give you the website real quick. You go to sadrosportfishing.com and uh, just look up on the uh, on the calendar, and it'll show you all the information you need to know. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Good job, Jeff. Great job, Sadro Sport Fishing. SadroSportFishing.com. We'll talk to you next week. You got it, guys. Have a great day. Happy Father's Day. See you, buddy. All right. Now let's head on up to Dana War Sport Fishing. Is it true? Do we have the man, Captain Chris Pika, on the line right now from Dana War? (laughs) Good morning. What's up, Pika? Happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. How you doing, Pete Gray? Rock on on my old (laughs) today. What's up, Pika? Hey, Pika. Oh, awesome. Hey, I think I got a bad connection here, guys, and I'm not going to pull what I did about 20 years ago. <laughs> well, you sound... when I was going to throw the phone into the water, and I, I, th- I thought I was on, but I wasn't. <laughs> well, you sound great on this end, buddy. How's the fishing there at Dana Wharf? Oh, awesome. Well, hey, guys, there's a lot going on right now, and uh, fishing is really good. It's kicked in the gear. Bass fishing is uh, going off the Richter. If you get it, uh, you time it right to where you come out when you got the good uh, tides, and everything, it's it's really wide open. I mean, it's it's game time. Uh, catch some really good uh, quality uh, calico bass. Some sand bass starting to mix in with them too. And uh, yesterday uh, yesterday morning we had a really good fight. In fact, the day before Friday we had a really good uh, really good ten o'clock half day trip. Uh, the, the key thing here is fly lining uh, for the calico bass. We've even been catching some big uh, uh, sand bass on the fly line too. In fact, yesterday we were. Uh, we had some kids on the boat, and we're telling one of the kids, hey, man, come on back here, you know, cast back into the kelp. And he was up on the bow, and the next thing you know, he's pulling on like a five, six-pound sand bass that he pulled in. In fact, it's, the picture is going to be uh, posted up on our website there, so you can check that out. I'll give you the website in just a bit. But, uh, guys, uh, they've been biting everything. I mean, they've been biting the fly line sardines, the big sardines. Uh, they've been also biting the rubber lures. They've been biting the wax wings. They've been biting the jigs. I mean, it's been really good bass fishing right now. Uh, you know, we've been fishing a lot in the kelp, so uh, that fly lining technique, it's uh, way to go. And your lighter lines, of course, they're way more productive when you're bass fishing. Guys, you want to fish with that light line, you're 10, 12, 15. Or, if, you know, you, uh, you, Spencer, you could use that, but, you know, you use that uh, fluorocarbon leader, and uh, you're good to go. And, guys, uh, you know, you might need a little split shot or something like that, like a little, maybe like a little eight-ounce uh, quarter-ounce line sinker with, uh, you, need, you know, you're not guys, and you're good to go. It's game time. Uh, really good uh, water conditions to deal with. Uh, the water temperature jumped up. It's been about 67, 68 degrees, which is really good. That pretty much kicked them in the gear. And, uh Guys, uh, we got all kinds of trips going out right now. We have our, our in fact, it's uh, it's full blown summertime. We have our half days going out. We have a 6:30 half day that comes back at 11:30. We have another uh, 10 o'clock half day that comes back at three. Then we have our noon half day that comes back at five. Then we got our twilights going out at 5:30. And guys, we have uh, five to fives going out on the Fury. We also have our three quarter day boats going out, and uh, that leaves at six o'clock, comes back at three. And, uh, guys, there's been a lot of action going on, and it's been it's been a steady pick to wide open action on the bass. Uh, the Fury has been doing overnights hitting the island, and they've been getting some uh, getting them some yellowtail action too over there, you know. And those yellows, there's some small ones, but they're, you know, but they're all the way up to about 20 pounds. I'd say the smaller ones are in that six seven pound range, and then they get up to about the 20 pound range. So uh, you still got a good whack at those, and there's good bass fishing over at that island too. Yeah, indeed. So, uh, Sounds awesome. like great Pika? fishing. Chris, Pika, Dana Wharf, sport fishing. If somebody wants to come fishing at Dana Wharf, how do we do that? You can give us a call here at Dana Wharf Sport Fishing, and the phone number is area code 949-496-5794. You can look us up on the web. You can friend us on Facebook. You can get our Dana Wharf Sports Yeah. Yeah, awesome. indeed. All right. Fantastic, job, people. Pika. Good job. Nice talking to you. We'll talk to you guys next week. And, of course, you can always click on the Dana Wharf Sport Fishing ad right on the front page of the Let's Talk Hookup website, letstalkhookup.com, and you can save a bunch of money on a half and three-quarter day trip by clicking on that banner and booking right online through our website. And uh, let's go ahead, and while we're waiting for Gundy, let's jump into the phone. You got it. Well, how about we talk to Wally, who's on the 405 freeway this morning. What's up, Wally? Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. How you doing? Good, buddy. I just got off the Islander. Great. Oh, right best, on. How best was... trip I've ever had. Wow. Best trip. 
Nice. That's right. Thank I only you. fished maybe four hours the whole trip. So when we went rock cod fishing with bacon, oh, my God, it was the best. Bacon? Is that <laughs> yeah. the new secret? I don't know. The chef pulled out some bacon, and he put it on it and caught some rock cod. I rolled my Under eyes, towel. and three drops in a row, he came up with two big reds on each. You know, get out of here. He caught okay. six, yeah. six get, big reds. Get out of here. Oh, okay, yeah. It's game well, on, I caught salmon grouper right next to him with a sardine. <laughs> really? Bacon. That's hilarious. Bacon. Okay. Yeah. Everybody else was catching yellowtail, and we were catching rock cod with bacon. That's, that's a, so that's funny. A, and, it's, and it is a fun trip. You know what's so fun is on our trip there on uh, Wednesday at Several of the people come up and go, this is so much fun. Yeah. I just, it it's, is. It's really a blast. It's really that a that crew time. on that boat is one of the best crew I've ever met. Yeah. Just, I'll that's second a great that. boat. Yeah. Wow. Thanks, great Wally. boat. I appreciate that. Thank you. Great, Wally. What? Glad you had a good time. You should jump on the Islander this summer for a day and a half trip and go uh, tuna fishing. Definitely. Thanks a lot for the call, and uh, glad you had a fun fun time. All right. Well, hey, let's continue on with our catch report. We got the man, the surf guru himself, Gundy Gunderson's on the line. What's up, Gundy? Hey, gentlemen. How's it going today? Doing great. Gundy. Good morning. Good show. Thanks. Good morning. Boy, we got a uh, you know a lot of things going. Like we talked last week, this week the highliner was the Corbina fishing. It's another strong week. New moon. Grunion run, strong tide, a uh, good push of warm water, had some 70-degree water hit, hit the beach this week, especially in that southern section, and with it, lots of sand crabs. The croakers are also on the bite. We had several five-pound class spot fin, I think, topped by a six-pounder, and the yellowfin croaker were also biting. Real good week of fishing. Hook, line, sinker, and Santa Barbara reported very good fishing on the reefed beaches. The grunion have drawn in quite a bit of fish, fish a mix of calico bass, grass rockfish, and halibut, they're throwing three and four inch swim baits and tipping them with a little piece of uh, squid. That's an old trick. A uh, little tiny piece of squid doesn't inhibit the swim, but gives a little flavor in there. Just uh, let's see here. Wiley's reported good mixed bag fishing, uh, strong croaker bite. Uh, they checked in a five pound, three ounce fish taking on a mussel there. Just fishing in Redondo, reported two striped bass taking off Manhattan on flash minnows, six and eight pounds. Fish. The Corbina bite was also strong with lots of sand grabs showing along Torrance and Manhattan beaches there. Big fish reported lots of Corbina showing. One to two pound models biting a little better, but there were a few three pound class fish in the mix. Very good spot fin bite too on the Seal Beach Pier there. Mussel, lugworms, ghost shrimp were the top baits. Five pound, five ounce spot fin was the top fish. Catch some tackle in Newport. Reported very good fishing on the peninsula there for Corbina. A few halibut in the mix. Hogan, Hogan's tackle reported very good Corbina fishing in Capo Bay there. Very good improvement. Some water temperatures, 70, 71. So that's, that's to be expected there. That Corbina bite's really going to get going. Pacific Coast reported the yellowtail popped up again on bait outside of Terramar and Ponto. Uh, one guy was Johnny on the spot, hooked one, and it was a Zing Pow type of ending on light line, but it's interesting. There's some quality fish in that mix. You could, you know, could conceivably be a sea bass in there, too, when you get a mix of fish on bait like that. Six-pound, two-ounce spot fin taken off the Oceanside Pier, 32-inch halibut, was the best flat fish of the week, taken on a white single-tail grub off South Carlsbad, and then finally Blue Water checked in a four-pound, two-ounce corvina taken off tabletop. So, wow, what a mix of no, fish. Yeah, and, uh, no kidding. Wow. Like I've been saying, that inshore deal is really good right now, Pete, and uh, heck, you know, get your fishing rod, give it a shot. Yeah, um, heck yeah, Gundy, awesome, Gundy, Gundy. Gunderson, surf guru extraordinaire. Thanks for that report. We'll talk to you next week. All right, gentlemen, have a good week. All right, you too. Thanks, Gundy. Well, that's going to wrap up our catch report today. And, hey, just a reminder, want to join Bill Varney and the CCA for an upcoming on-the-beach surf fishing clinic. It's a really cool event. There's going to be several clinics uh, July 20th and 21st at South Carlsbad State Beach and then July 27th and 28th at Carpinteria State Beach. You're going to learn surf fishing techniques right on the beach directly from the experts. All the instruction and the bait is provided and the proceeds are going to be benefiting CCA California. To sign up, go to surf surffishtackle.com again surffishtackle.com and click on the seminar tab the classes definitely fill up quickly and they're always sold out so you definitely want to sign up early I would just sign up right now because it's a very cool clinic alright Tommy in San Francisco you're next up good morning 
Hey, good morning, guys. How you doing? Okay. Hey, so I have two questions for you guys. I'm going on the red, white, and bluefin uh, trip on the XL in about two weeks, and the boat leaves at 11 a.m. Is it? Do I need to be there earlier uh, to get on the boat? I know that, that there's you know rooms that are assigned to people already for a three-day trip, but do we need to get there early, like for tackle placement on the boat or anything like that? They usually like to load about two hours ahead, right, John? Generally speaking, on a long-range trip. Uh, yeah. Yeah, two hours is plenty of time. But just call the XL office, and uh, they'll they'll uh, tell you when you should be there. But there are guys camped out at probably three in the morning. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why I was calling because I looked at a lot of videos and I saw guys there really early. So I was like, what's the purpose of that? Do we really have to be there that early? People are excited. They want to go. I also. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah we are too. Like, I'm, I'm going to arrive there like day early just to go shopping at Fisherman's Landing. <laughs> that's, that, that's a good call there, but. Uh, um, a lot of the boat, Pete, you nailed it. You just gotta call call the XL office because a lot of the boats do it differently. Some some boats will load their gear, uh, or you know, you basically so every boat's different. Some of them load first come first serve when you show up in line. Other ones will load their passengers based on when 50% of their deposit has been received. So you know, yeah. regardless of what time you get there, as long as it's appropriate and you know before before they start the loading procedure. But if you you know if you booked your trip real early, you might be the first or second guy to load. And if you hopped on at the very last minute, you might be the last guy to load. But every boat does it a uh-huh. little bit differently, and just call the office and they'll get you yeah. dialed in. And how are you listening to us on the on the app or on the web? Oh, uh, you know what? Right now, right now through the app because I wanted to call in, but I usually do it through YouTube. I found you guys through YouTube, and I haven't stopped listening for like over three months already. <laughs> yeah, right. well, that app makes things very, very easy, no matter where you are, for sure. Tommy, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. Appreciate it. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk cookup coming your way. If you want to get through, this is a great opportunity. It's been a very busy morning, and we actually have a phone line open at each one of the toll-free numbers: eight seven 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 nine two ten ninety and one of our local lines, 858-457-1090. More Let's Talk Cookup coming your way on the Mighty 1090. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. Rancho Leonero is very family-oriented. People have brought their children down, and now they're bringing their children. It's not unusual to have three generations of family at the hotel. Grandpa, dad, and uh, normally sons, sometimes daughters. The families come back year after year, and it's a safe place for the kids. It's small, it's intimate right on the water, two miles of beachfront. The water's very shallow in front. There's no currents to speak of, no waves. We have child care, $10 a day for a babysitter. Security is high at Rancho Lane now. It's really unnecessary, but it adds up comfort level. And we really do encourage the families. It's a great place for family reunions, family get-togethers, weddings. We do it all. 1-800-646-2252, 646-Baja. And RanchoLeonero.com, there's nowhere that I could think of to have the same atmosphere and the same experience that you get in Rancho Leonero. We love families. When it comes to catching big bluefin tuna in local waters, Shimano has the gear proven to land the big ones. You already know the hot jig is the Shimano Butterfly Flatfall Jig. And when you match that with the right tackle system, it makes this great jig even more effective. We suggest you grab a Tranks 500 HG and fill it with 80-pound Power Pro Max Quattro. Max Quattro is 25% thinner, which means 25% more line capacity when you hook that giant. Match your new setup with a Therese 70H and you have the power Power to put the wood to that big blue fin tuna. The Tranks 500 HG has the cranking power you need. And with the level wind, you concentrate on fishing your Shimano flat ball and leave the line control to the Tranks reel. Hundreds of big fish have been caught on the flat ball. And when you add the Power Pro Max Quattro Tranks to Res Combo, you'll take your fishing to the next level. See your local dealer or check Shimano.com for all the details. XFRS 1090 AM Rosarito, Baja California. San Diego Sports Leader, the home of ESPN Radio, the mighty 1090. For decades, the Kona Kai has been considered San Diego's premier marina, resort, and spa. Now, with millions of dollars in upgrades, the Kona Kai Resort is a destination for travelers worldwide who can live it every day. The docks and services are the finest quality in San Diego, and the Kona Kai is the closest marina to the open ocean. As a marina tenant, you enjoy many benefits, including secured free parking, a deluxe health club, swimming pool, and more. Enjoy discounts at their restaurant, bar, and hotel. If you don't have a boat, there are membership 
memberships available at a very affordable price. The Kona Kai Club has been offering members a home away from home since 1953. Members can spend their days on Kona Kai's private beach, meet new people in the club's modern lounge, share a meal with family at Vessel Restaurant and Bar, or pamper themselves in Spa Terra. Check out ResortKonaKai.com on the web for more information to reserve a slip or inquire about joining the club. The Kona Resort, like being on vacation every day in your own backyard. Fisherman's Landing is the top choice in local and long-range fishing. Hi, this is Doug Kern. Our hard-working crew is always looking for ways to improve your fishing experience. We offer the finest open party trip from one to three days, the best charter boats available, and of course, our world-renowned long-range fleet is second to none. We are proud to say Fisherman's Landing is now a full-service sport fishing operation, offering half-day trips on the Dolphin, and now, for the first time in the long history of Fisherman's Landing, we have three-quarter day open party trips on the Liberty. We built the Liberty specifically to offer a better experience. Run by veteran captain Taro Takeuchi, the 85-foot Liberty is the first open party three-quarter day boat to offer bunks for your comfort. She also has huge bait capacity and RSW fish holds to keep your catch fresh. Plus, Liberty has a big galley and two interior heads with showers. Our open party trips from half day, three-quarter day, or one to three day trips can be easily booked online at Fisherman'sLanding.com or give us a call at 619-221-8500. I'll see you at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. There's a lot of great tools out there to help you land the biggest catch. We've got state-of-the-art fish finders, the latest sonar technology, and a wide assortment of lures and jigs at our disposal. It's all tech to help you land the big one. Do you know who else loves the latest tech? Your San Diego County Ford dealers. Just look at F-150. It's loaded with tech. That's one of the many reasons F-150 is Motor Trend's 2018 Truck of the Year. Great payloads and towing capabilities make it the perfect piece of tackle. Available with an 8-inch touchscreen, fuel-saving EcoBoost engine, and all the latest safety and comfort features, F-150 is the truck that is smart enough for California. And right now, your San Diego County Ford dealers have great offers on F-150 XLT and STX. Right now is your best chance to get the best deal on the best truck. That's California smart. Learn more at buyfordnow.com or visit your San Diego County Ford dealer today. They'll be glad to hook you up. 